welcome to vlogmas day one so this year i decided that i was gonna do vlogmas i've tried to do that in previous years wanted to do vlogmas every single year if you didn't know what it is it's basically where you film every single day and post a video every single day from the 1st of december to basically the 24th or the 25th which is exactly what i'm gonna try and do i've tried to do this before but a i didn't have like a good enough camera or my laptop was broken or whatever something always went wrong or i just it's a lot of hard work basically and a lot of effort to try and post a video every single day so i'm gonna try and get on top of it and pre-film some videos but i do have a like a full schedule i'm quite organized with life right now so hopefully i'm able to do it two reasons why i'm doing this first one is because I think it's going to be fun for me to film videos. I don't film videos because I think people need to see this. I film videos because I enjoy filming them. That's that's always how it has been. So that's why I'm filming Vlogmas and that's why I'm doing it. And also, YouTube revenue money is higher in December than any other month. So that is another factor that is helping me want to post more in December. But I just think it's a good challenge to set myself. So this is going to be the first video. This is day one and we've got our little christmas background i've got my christmas fireplace thing whatever that is and then a few little christmasy things from last year my little autumn tree and then also my advent calendar which is a reese's advent calendar type thing which you'll see in probably tomorrow's video which is going to be a vlog so just to kind of at the start of this video discuss like the layout of what's gonna happen in December. I'm gonna post three videos that are like sat down like I am right now, videos where I've kind of got like a structure to the video or like a plan. So for example, this one is my favorites video and then on Thursday I'm doing a gift guide and then also on Sunday it's a gift guide as well. So I've got different kind of like videos planned and then in between those days so for the other four days of that week i will be doing vlogs and just vlogging the day and just you know casual things so that's kind of the plan hopefully i'll be able to stick to it we will see but i'm hoping i can so that's basically gonna be it but today i am filming my feelings favorites and fails i do actually have a fail i swear in last month's i didn't have a fail and i like to have at least one i don't want to have tons but i like to have at least one so there we go but also before we carry on i have actually reached 5,000 subscribers which obviously is not that many to some people but for me i just I'm very happy I got to that. It's halfway to 10,000 subscribers. I don't post videos to get loads of subscribers, but I like, you know, to hit milestones and things like that. And I kind of like the fact that my channel grows really slowly because then I appreciate every little milestone. And yeah, I'm really happy to have got to 5,000. So thank you to everyone that subscribed recently. And I've got so many more videos planned. So thank you very much. I only ever post videos because I enjoy doing it. I've literally been doing this for like four or five years. If I was doing this because I wanted to get thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers, then I would, you know, have given up by now so thank you anyway but yeah just thought i'd throw that out there but if you haven't already get a hot drink i would recommend a hot chocolate or a cup of tea or something in a christmas mug oh my god look how cute this is i will talk about this later on in the video because obviously this is a favorite but get a christmas mug oh my god just look how cute that is oh. i just thought i'd throw that out there anyway so yeah let's get into the video so first of all, I'm going to talk about my feelings. I've written little notes on my phone as to kind of like what to discuss. So I like to in these videos talk about my feelings of the previous month um, just to kind of like update and see how it differs from month to month throughout the year. This like autumn winter is like my favorite time of the year and i know a lot of people say that but that genuinely is true it's always been true i as a child used to really hate summer because i associated that with sort of bad things i sort of had that slightly with summer where as soon as i saw a hint of summer i would feel really down straight away like i would get really anxious because i associated that with things that i didn't enjoy like sports day or being more social i didn't like social things because of my anxiety and because i had selective mutism whereas in the winter months it was more of a stay at home and be cozy kind of like time so i enjoyed that but i enjoy winter in general now anyway but even though i do also really like summer now because i've overcome my anxieties and things like that 
mostly. Last month, in last month's um, feelings, favourites and fails, I mentioned that I didn't want to discuss it because I wanted to film a life update. Still haven't filmed that video because I can't due to something that needs to happen, but we will, you know, cross that bridge when we get there and I will film that video very soon. Maybe even have to film that next year, but it will come in the month or two. We will see. But this month compared to last month i've written down here that i'm now more in a routine and i feel a lot happier because i've got more of a routine with my life and i wake up i've got the same morning routine i've got the same evening routine i love organization i love routine i love doing things that's the same but also having a purpose to things i could easily wake up in my day and not write a list for the day and just have no clue necessarily or any structure to the day and I still know what I want to get done but because I've not got that written down structure organized I literally my brain is a mess I feel stressed I feel like I won't be able to get it done it just is an absolute like I don't know it's it just not good in my brain so I think I'm one of those kind of people that I have to write everything down on paper I enjoy writing lists and yeah I've just felt so much more organized this month and I've really enjoyed that and I've got a lot more cleaning products this month as well so you'll see that later on in this video and I just I'm just a lot happier when it comes to stuff like that I have actually kept myself very busy as well I try and have from Monday to Friday like a full week what I would call like a working week for myself so I obviously some people will look at me and think like what do you actually do like you just stay at home all the time I've got uni I film YouTube videos which t trust me takes a lot longer than you would think trust me <laughs> and also I have my own small little skincare business so I put up posts for that on social media I have to package people's orders make people stuff and yeah that all takes time so I am extremely busy every single day so I'm so busy to the point where I don't I get sent things to review and I don't even have time to open them or I don't even get a minute to open that package until like four days after I've received it which is not very like me because usually I'm so excited to open packages but that you know that's just how it is and then I like to have my weekends where I can actually relax it's important to be really motivated and you know be really successful with things and put high effort into things but then also have like rest days so that you can keep up that motivation and not just like wear out so that's pretty much it in terms of feelings I'm just feeling a lot more happier because I'm a lot more organized for me happiness and organization are very much linked which is interesting so if you're the kind of person that's you know not feeling too great and you've never really got into making lists or planning things or just being organized and having routines try it because trust me it, it literally just makes the biggest difference to my life ever let's get on to some favorites my camera is flashing at me so i may have to you know come back to this in a little bit but we will begin so first of all i have some skincare bits just a few nothing too major but the first thing is this now this is actually my own product that i make and sell this is my fresh face detox clay face mask by georgie cart which is me this has got tea tree in it and obviously i've been using it so it's kind of nearly run out but i reformulated this recently i haven't discussed this on my channel because i wanted to wait until kind of now-ish or whenever and i did reformulate it and i'm so happy with the formula it lasts so much longer i reformulated because i wanted to give it a longer shelf life which is exactly what it's got now and basically you apply it to the skin you'll see it in vlogs during vlogmas but you apply it to the skin it dries down and then you wash it off and it's so good for specifically oily skin but spot prone skin anything like that like i just love this mask genuinely like from the bottom of my heart i genuinely do so if you do want to check this out i will link my ebay page down below and my etsy page i sell on both of them i tend to have a little bit more sales on ebay than etsy so i think people would rather buy on ebay so it's completely up to you but this is on there and also just if you're wondering i do also have my lemon scented cleansing balm on my website as well and also my pure tea tree oil so yeah these are the three products that i kind of make myself i do do have a new product coming out soon which is a gel moisturizer but i won't talk about that now because it is 
coming out soon. But skincare product wise that aren't actually mine, I did do a video in collaboration with this brand, but basically these are by Skin Diva. The first one is the um, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I love Hyaluronic Acid, it's very hydrating for the skin. It kind of hydrates the cells in your face and just makes your skin a lot more plump. It's one of those products that's meant to kind of plump up the skin. I really like that and it feels really hydrating. And then I have this, which is probably my favourite one out of the two. This is also from Skin Diva and this is the Vitamin C Serum and this makes my skin so glowy. I love Vitamin C because of the glow that it gives, but yeah, this in particular is so, so good. And yeah, I love both of them in combination with each other. So yeah, I would recommend these. It's a good brand and the products are really nice. So if you wanna go and watch my review, full review on both of these products, check out that video. I will link it in the description for you. Now, we don't have any makeup bits in terms of favourites, which is very unusual, but I'm more of a skincare person than a makeup person. And actually, I would say I'm more of a cleaning products person than a makeup person. I've got a lot of cleaning products right here. So we're gonna just sort of dive into this pile. First of all, there's this. So this is the Fabulosa Concentrated Disinfectant, but in the scent Lemon Sherbet. I use this to disinfect my kitchen surfaces. Every single night I will wash up wash my dishes and then I will spray the surfaces with this and wipe around just to get rid of anything and it just smells so good for me it's the fact that I know I'm cleaning my surfaces and also the fact that this leaves such a nice smell that I just love so I would recommend these they've got many different scents and it's just one of those things that I just really enjoy and look forward to using I look forward to using cleaning products don't judge me next up we have a shock product this, if nobody's tried this, if you've got your own house, if you don't, then maybe you haven't. But this is the Silip Bang Black Mold Remover. This is one of those things where you'll watch an advert, they'll spray it on an area of mold, then next clip the mold's gone and you're like, oh, yeah, right, yeah, of course, that's what it's going to do, not really. Actually, that is the case. I literally sprayed this on mold in my bathroom. There was quite a lot there because of damp and everything like that. I came back to wipe it off. It was gone. I didn't even need to touch it. I didn't even need to wipe it. It was gone. My dad likes this as well. He doesn't really usually go for like branded things. And neither do I because I always think, you know, you don't need to go for like the, the branded products. This is amazing and it genuinely, genuinely works. Trust me, like hand on heart. This is the best product in this video. So I wanted to include this. It does work and I will buy this again and again and again because it actually works and it just gets rid of mold it gets rid of mold off the walls in the shower on the floor um i had a bit on the blinds so yeah it's really really good next thing is this this is less than a pound this is just a room spray from w5 which i think is lidl's own brand i'm not sure and this is in the scent winter spice i like this i like things that are like themed towards different seasons and this is obviously themed towards winter and yeah it smells really nice and it makes your flat or your house smell how it says basically and yeah it is really nice i would highly recommend i spray this in every single room every single day and i'm loving that and also whilst i'm spraying the rooms i also spray my fabrics so this is something i've only just got into over the past couple of weeks but this is the febreze fabric refreshener and this one's in the scent cotton fresh i do have another one that i bought yesterday because this one's running low but i just spray this onto the carpet onto the bedding onto cushions onto my towels like anything that's fabric i would just go around and give it a quick spray and it genuinely makes them smell so nice and it just it's one of those things where you'll go and you'll spray your room but if you spray fabrics the smell lasts so much longer so i would recommend these i would say this is a little bit pricier for something that i wouldn't usually pay for it is three pounds i wouldn't usually you know pay that much money i did get this from morrison so maybe it's cheaper somewhere else but it's worth it for me because it makes me happy using it every day and that's the kind of thing that i do like i get things that make me happy whether it's a cleaning product or not so yeah i really love that and then finally with kind of like scented products we have this so this is from Lidl, it's three pounds, and this is the Winter Berries Scented Candle. I think this was um, £2.99, and I've been burning it so far. I think this might run out, you know. Actually, I think this will last me till Christmas, I'm not sure, but yeah, 
the smell of this is just so nice like this is the smell that does remind me of christmas it reminds me of going to brig garden center walking around and just looking at all the christmasy stuff i will do a brig garden center vlog don't you worry coming probably next week but yeah i really love this and i've been burning it most nights i'll put it in different rooms like up here my bathroom my kitchen and my living room just to make everywhere smell really nice and it's nice and cozy and it's a really good size so i would recommend this is really nice so i'm now just going to take a quick break charge up my battery then i will be back stop again georgie okay i am back i just filmed a whole clip about my favorites realized my laptop was you know not on and i was like oh i can't i just want it to be on so we're back we're filming again but basically final kind of physical favorite is this mug this is just like the cutest thing ever this is from morrison's i saw it a few weeks ago and i just picked it up it was only three pounds and i just like the fact that i get look i literally look forward to this every single day i have a drink in this in the evening like a hot chocolate or mainly a cup of tea i usually drink tea i'm not a massive massive hot chocolate fan but yeah i just look forward to using this because it's just so cute and for some reason the cup of tea tastes better when i drink it out of this so there's the evidence then we have a few kind of non-tangible things program wise the great british bake-off it has finished now but like surely everyone loves the bake-off it's just baking mixed with like humorous stuff and it's just it's just a great program so yeah i love that and it's one of those programs that you can just watch like really like cozy and just get in under a blanket and watch it and eat food then i'm also loving i'm a celebrity get me out of here it's now in the castle instead of the jungle i much prefer it in the castle i like the vibes i really like castles anyway it's kind of random i don't know why but i do like castles and i just like the kind of whole scenery and everything and the aesthetic and the vibe so that's just me personally like obviously everyone's different but i really like it and i also like the fact that it's different i think the jungle vibe was just getting a bit samey samey don't come for me but yeah i like it and then also i have been watching strictly come dancing as well for the first time ever i have seen bits and bobs in the past but not properly so yeah i'm really enjoying that as well but i do find that it's so long so i don't watch it when it's on and then i watch it back on repeat or whatever and i just skip through the bits where they're just talking about the dance before they dance like i just watch the actual dances basically and the judging then i have a youtuber favorite this is a really good one like she is one of my like she is my absolute favorite youtuber right now it used to be tarty but she's not posting at the minute so i can't really say her but she's called Gemma louise miles i will link her channel in the description she's gained quite a lot of followers recently because her autumn winter kind of christmasy content is very good like it really cozy kind of videos that she makes like you'll watch the video and feel really relaxed and calm and cozy and she's very organized she's really into cleaning and she posts a lot of content but the kind of videos that she makes is just so aesthetically pleasing and just so like relaxing and cozy i just really like them and i would recommend just to relax you so yeah i really like them she does like speed cleaning videos as well which i just love that so yeah check out her in the description and then finally i have a game which is on my phone go to the app store and search it it's called seekers notes i won't show it to you because this video will be too long but basically it's the kind of game where you have to find things so there'll be like a scenery of a cafe and it will have a list at the bottom of things that you need to find within a time limit and they'll be in like quite difficult places it's not a game for kids at all it is more it is an adult game because it is quite difficult and as the levels progress it does get a lot harder and even i'm struggling and i'm on like level 13 and there's like 200 and something levels so it is a difficult game but i really like it and it's just something i play before i go to sleep because it just exercises the mind but also helps me sleep I don't know i love it i really love it it's my new favorite game i also love heyday as well but i've been playing that for a very long time but yeah i love that game so i think that's all of my favorites hopefully i've not missed anything off then we have fails i do have one fail and this is a big fail this is a fail from me and also my mum this is the oh my god it's leaking because it's been out of the shower this is the l'oreal paris lv's fibro fibrology Oh, Vibrology, Vibrology, yeah. Thickening shampoo. So apparently this gives thicker hair. 
No, it doesn't. This is awful. My mum didn't like it. I didn't like it. Both for the same reason. It makes your hair so greasy. Like, honestly, I... My mum passed it to me because she didn't like it. And she said it made her hair feel really unclean and really greasy. I tried it. And as soon as I'd washed my hair, I could still feel it in my hair. Like, it doesn't make your hair thick. It just gets clogged up in your hair. Please let me know if you've had good experiences with this. And this is just, like, a me thing. But... I don't like this at all and it made my hair really greasy really quickly and I just didn't like that like when I wash my hair I want it to be clean I don't want it to feel like it's not clean so this is a big fail this is a definitely not using this ever again product because it's not good I don't like it and I would recommend little cheap ones over that one so that is a big fail but I think that's everything for this video and vlogmas day one. Oh my god how exciting so yeah this is the end of my feelings favorites and fails I love filming these I just can talk and talk and talk and it is also the end of vlogmas day one so stay around for tomorrow's video it's gonna be a vlog and then Thursday's video is gonna be a lush gift guide a lush gift guide and then after thursday's video there's going to be a couple of vlogs friday saturday and then sunday's video is going to be a body shop gift guide so that's the plan for this week if you just like to know but yeah thanks for watching this video please subscribe for the rest of vlogmas and for the rest of the future and like the video if you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video goodbye